What's up guys, just represent here, and today, we are going to be talking about Red Dead Redemption 2. So Red Dead Redemption, as you may or may not know, or you most likely will know, is a game about Arthur Morgan, and it's set in the wild, at the end of the Wild West era. So, Red Dead Redemption, quick summary, is made by Rockstar Games, and it's an open world story game. Like, you can do missions and do the story and stuff, but you can also run around in between missions, and you can run around and do whatever you want. Now, honestly, the first thing that we have to do is review the story. Now, Red Dead Redemption's story is pretty good and pretty easy to follow. And, honestly, it's one of the most emotional games in the world, like, especially at the end, when you get to, um... When a certain character dies, and it's just really sad. And it made me cry, actually, which is saying something for my cold, dead soul. Anyways, um, Red Dead, um, let's review the chapters. So, chapter one isn't really that exciting. Like, there's some missions where you get to shoot people, which is mainly the thing that I like the most with my psychotic interests. Um, <laughs> uh, bloody... Red Dead, chapter one is basically just there as a tutorial to teach other controls and stuff, and, um, yeah, in this chapter, nothing really major happens except for the, um, part where you rub a train and stuff. Also, also, um, I'm mentioning minor spoilers, I'm not gonna spoil the, like, big parts of the game, but I will spoil some parts of the game, so if you're thinking about playing Red Dead Redemption or, um, you're playing Red Dead Redemption at the moment and you haven't completed it, um, I suggest you don't watch this video until you've completed it. So, with that out of the way, um, well, let's continue the chapters. Um, anyways, on to chapter two. Um, chapter two of Red Dead is probably, um, the, like, most... Is probably one of my favourite chapters. Um, I like it because, like, there's just simple missions, like, going, like, doing, like... There's just simple missions and stuff, and, like... It goes on for a, not too long, but it, it goes on for a little while, but it doesn't go for so long that you're just like, when is this chapter going to end? When can I get out of here? Um, so, the main town in this chapter is Valentine, with it basically being right next to your camp. And, um, yeah. Uh, Valentine is a pretty, like, it's an okay town. Like, there's a lot of, like, it's not that big, but, like, there's a lot of important stuff there. That, um, there's a lot of important stuff there that you can do, like the stables, the general store, the gunsmith, the saloon. Everything important that you need for Red Dead is there. And, honestly, Chapter 2 is prob was probably one of the most highly in highly regarded chapters. It's, re uh, like, what I've seen is that it's regarded as one of the, um, one of the best chapters. Um, now on to Chapter 3. Chapter 3 is probably one of my favourite chapters, um, mainly just because, I don't know about why, but it's pretty, but it's mainly just because where the story, like, speeds up and stuff, and you get to do a lot of stuff, like, helping the Braithwaite and Greys, and it's got one of the, it's got one, and the, it's one of its final chapters is, um, highly regarded as the best chapter in all of Red Dead. That's where you go, um, burn down the Braithwaite Manor. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this chapter is one of my favourite characters, um, dies in it. I'm not going to tell you which, because, um, yeah. Chapter 3 takes the award for most side missions that I've done in a chapter. And, honestly, Rage is an okay town. It's pretty fam- the only thing that's really famous for is, um, the guy that keeps the, um, like, some kid in his basement. Um... If you want to know how to, um, um, like, get the free the kid, like, go into the store and rob the guy. You won't lose honour. Um, anyways. On to chapter four. Now, chapter four is a solid chapter, but in my opinion, it goes on for way too long. And, um, the main town, or city, is St. Denise. And St. Denise is a pretty okay town. Like, if you... And especially for, like, um, low honour players, it's pretty, like, packed full of, like, stuff to, like, places to commit crimes. 
But if you're not too skilled with like guns and hiding and like shooting people in Red Dead, um, you're gonna have a hard time getting away from the cops because this this city is jam packed to full to the brim with cops. Um, uh, honestly, chapter four. I don't really have much to say to for chat with chapter four because I don't really have that much memories of it because honestly, it went on for way too long. <laughs> Um, but in my opinion, chapter four isn't an all right chapter, but it could have, um, like, like, it could have had some, like, less mission. It could have had less missions. On to chapter five. Regarded as one of the worst chapters in the game. <laughs> Anyways, honestly, in my opinion, chapter five was actually kind of okay. Like, it did, like, it was one of the shortest chapters in the game. Um, and it takes place on Guama, which I, I quite liked, because it was pretty, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty it was beautiful anyways the chapter um in the chapter basically the entire chapter is like just about getting off the island and it, basically all the missions are about saving javier and getting off the island and like taking and like helping the like savings to two guys and like taking out the like government people and stuff and yeah and eventually you get into a massive fight you use a cannon you blow up a ship and you get off the island now on to chapter six now chapter six was a pretty good chapter in my opinion but when you get to the end with all like the missions that you do with like um rand's fall and stuff like that it's it in my opinion it was really tedious and stuff like i did not like doing those missions like um until like the last mission is probably the best is probably one of the best missions in my opinion in red dead um yeah um, there's some some really important stuff happens in this chapter, and I'm not going to tell you because you need to go play it for yourself. Anyways, the on onto the epilogues, and the epilogue in the epilogues you play as John Marston, and it's pretty fun. Except for the first epilogue is not good because all you do is just like go, you're just on the farm, and the only part where you use guns, you get guns like really late into the chapter. <sighs> it's near the end of the epilogue. Anyways. Um, in the epilogue, you keep your guns f that you had as Arthur, but you don't keep your honor, and you don't keep your, um, you don't keep your, um, money, but, um, ch ep the epilogue, the second epilogue had pretty solid missions, and I liked running around and doing dumb stuff, like going to the saloon and getting blackout drunk, um, I recommend doing that, it's really funny, <laughs> anyways, um, also, but in real life, don't do, don't, don't, um, don't do drugs and don't drink alcohol too much, don't drink alcohol so much that you pass out, um, I'd say drink like a bottle a day, maybe, maybe two, anyways, that was Red Dead, made by, made by, um, Rockstar Games, released in 2018, and it was one of the most amazing games ever, I rated it a 10 out of 10, and it was fun to play it. Now on to my low on a dis dishonor run, where I commit heinous crimes in Red Dead as Arthur Morgan. See ya.